will now add fire functionalities to the his client. In our client project, we already have an interface ready to use. It contains a text field for putting the location of the fire server, another text field for the name that we want to search, a JList for putting the results of the search, and a text area for putting the full patient information. We want the client to be able to search the server for patients by name, and we want to be able to click on one patient to get its full information. We provide on GitHub some code to get started. The fire client file contains the skeleton code of the fire operations, while the main window in the patient list model classes handle the view. We already added the patient list model to our project. As you can see, it's very similar to the person list model that we had for the his call and will be used to be able to fill the JList in the interface. The main difference with the class we had before is that it uses the patient class from the fire library instead of the one from our database model. The base of the fire client contains three methods. In a constructor, we set up the connection to a fire server by creating a context, a context and a RESTful client connected to a given URL. We then have two methods performing the fire operations. One for searching a patient by name, which will return a list of patients, and one to retrieve one patient by ID, so that we can print all its information in the interface. Let's now start the implementation. We will begin with the view. First, we need to give the main window access to the fire client. We also need to prepare a list of patients that we will get from this client. We have to make sure to use the right patient class coming from the fire uh, library and not the patient class from our his call. Now that we have the client and the list, we can start working on the search button. When the user clicks on the button, we load the list of patients from the fire client. Then we create a patient list model which we use for the JList. We force a repaint on the JList to make sure that it's updated on the screen. We now move to the client. We need to create a fire query. We can create a search query for a patient with the name matching the value given in the form. We want the result to be presented as a bundle. Finally, for each entry in the bundle, we want to cast it to the patient class and add it to the array list which will return to the view. Let's quickly see if all of this works. We run the code and go to the Fire tab. We perform the same search as we did on the web interface and we can see that we get the same results. Right now, if we click on the name, nothing happens. Let's change that. We have an event listener on the JList, which will be called when the selected value of the list changes. We first check that the user action is finished before executing the rest of the code. We retrieve the index of the selected patient in the patient list, and then we can use it to get the corresponding patient object from the array list.
Using the patient object, we create a string with all the information we want to print on the interface. We then put this information in the text area. Once again, we can quickly check that it works as intended. We see that many patients don't have all the information. But this is normal, as we are looking at a test server with very incomplete data. We would also like to be able to query the server for specific patients by ID. We can add a text field for putting the ID. We also add a button to click to send the query to the fire server. When the user clicks on this button, we want to use the patients, we want to use the client to get the patients corresponding to the ID that we are searching. We can quickly do some refactoring to be able to reuse the part of the code where we put the patient information in the text area. We now have to implement the getPatientById method in the client. The fire operation that we need is the read operation, which we can use to get the patient and return it to the view. We can run the finite program. We see that if we click on the patient, it is it displayed as before. If we directly put the ID, we can also get the patient. If we put an ID that does not exist, we get an error as expected. 